Congratulations, Simon. Uh, victory and career best match bowling figures for you. I'm sure you'll say it's about team success rather than personal, but taking 15 for 207 across the match must feel pretty sweet. Yeah, I think if we had lost the game um, after going for so many runs in the second innings, I would have been extremely disappointed with my own performance. But um, yeah, picking up the wickets in the second innings and, and us winning the game, um, I think it makes, makes it all worth it. Pitches haven't exactly favoured the spinner here so far this season. So looking at the pitch on day one, did you feel like this was an opportunity to cash in? Um, you're never really quite sure how Chelmsford is going to play. So it can be quite deceiving in that way. Um, so I didn't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, I never look at the wicket before a game because it's, you kind of get preconceived ideas and, and you think that the wicket's going to do certain things. Um, but yeah, when I started bowling and I saw that it was turning, um, I needed to make sure that um, I cashed in as much as I possibly could. Hampshire made no secret of their tactics to play aggressively. As a bowler, how do you deal with that? Is it just about sticking to your guns and knowing that maybe they're going aggressively because they don't trust their defence? Yeah, I think you've got to try and mix things up a little bit. You can't be predictable because um, I think if you're putting six balls in the same spot, um, they're probably going to get after you. Uh, but yeah, our, our whole thing was that sooner or later they would make a mistake. And when we sort of made the breakthrough was to try and capitalise on that and, and get two or three wickets quite quickly. With Hampshire needing 13 to win, there were definitely some nerves on the other side of the boundary. How are things out in the middle? Yeah, a lot of calm heads. Um, I'm sure underneath a lot of the boys would have felt differently, but I think in situations like that, it's a team that panic last, that, that'll win. Um, I think we always knew that we were only one ball away. If they were maybe seven or eight down, it would have been a completely different story. But knowing that we only needed one wicket to win, um, yeah, really sort of, I think, kept our minds at ease. It felt like a quite a tough time to play what was such an important championship match, but that win takes the team to 96 points. Traditionally, Essex have finished the season strongly. So how do you assess the team's chances at the halfway stage? Yeah, I think if you look at the table, everybody that we need to play is above us. Um, so the ball's in our court, we need to play good cricket. And like you say, traditionally, we've always finished strong. Um, so hopefully we can do that again this season. I think we've got a really good chance. Obviously, Surrey's the team to beat, but we've still got to play them and, and make sure that we turn them over. This win caps off what has been a brilliant month for the club. There seems to be a really positive feeling amongst the playing group. Yeah, I think if you look at, as I've said in interviews before, the way that the club's recruited over the winter, um, bringing in white ball players, um, a point of difference, guys like Daniel Sams is an overseas left arm seamer and gives it a whack. Um, Matthew Critchley coming in, he's obviously been extremely successful in the red ball, as has Adam Rossington, but what they bring to the white ball is something completely different and something we haven't had. So I do feel that there's a bit of excitement um, about the group that we have at the moment. Um, and hopefully we can sort of reap the rewards of, of the club's hard work. Yeah, and you mentioned white ball cricket there. Looking ahead to Friday with a T20 quarterfinal spot up for grabs, is it just a case of now harnessing this winning momentum? Yeah, I think we've still got to play our best cricket and, and try and make sure that we don't look too far in advance because it's all to play for. The South group is very tight and we can't focus on that quarterfinal spot. Our, our sort of focus has got to be that first ball on Friday. Um, and if we can sort of have that sort of focus, then I think we'll be okay. But um, yeah, big two games for us and hopefully we can see it through and, and secure a quarterfinal spot.